Hey guys, so we're gonna start with the white belt self-defense techniques. We're gonna uh, help you understand what to do for testing to get to your yellow belt. So starting off with base get up. So if I am on the ground and I'm trying to get up and this bad guy is over me and I just stand up, boom, he might be able to punch me, elbow me, knee me in the face and I don't want that to happen. So here's how we're gonna get up properly to make sure that we stay safe. So it's called the base get up. So here's basically how the base get up is gonna work. We're gonna tuck one leg tight. The other knee is gonna be up. I'm gonna put my elbow on my knee and my other hand to the side of the leg that's tucked. From here, I'm gonna put all of my weight onto my hand that's on the floor. I'm gonna lift up this bottom leg and step back right behind my hand with my knee on the outside of my arm. From there, I stand up with my hands up. And if I need to, I can shuffle away a little bit. So one more time, I'm here, one leg is tucked, one hand's on the ground, my elbow's on my knee. If this is a little difficult, one hand on the ground, I can put both hands on the ground if I need to, just to help carry the weight if it's a little bit too much for me at this point. Um, so either one is fine. The main thing I want to make sure that everyone understands is when you step back, don't step back too far, just on the other side of this hand that's on the ground. If I step too far, when I stand up, I'm gonna have too wide of a base. So I wanna end up where I feel very comfortable after I stand. So one last time, elbow on the knee, hand on the ground, lean my weight onto my hand, lift the leg up, step back, and my hands are up for protection, okay? Self-defense technique number two, wrist releases. So we have a couple of different wrist releases. Number one, when the thumb is on top, from here, I could try to pull away, it's kind of the natural reaction. Some people might say, I'm not trying to punch the bad guy or kick him. The problem is, if I try to kick, I'm off balance and now he can really pull me and I'm gone, he's got me. So I don't really wanna do that. I wanna have a very strong base underneath me and to escape, I'm going to step forward and kind of make an upside down rainbow with my elbow. And then I shuffle away. So from here, I take one step forward with my front foot and I don't wanna pull away with my hand. I wanna poke the bad guy with my elbow. Boom. I may not actually poke him, but that's kind of what I wanna be thinking about. So number one mistake people make is they try to lift instead of go forward. Okay, so make sure we're moving our body forward and the elbow makes that upside down rainbow with it. If they grab two hands, on the same arm. This might be too much for me, so I can always bring my helper in to grab my fist, and now I'm gonna pull with this hand as I push my elbow forward, and then I shuffle away. If he grabs with a thumb on bottom, I'm here. I can't do this very well, okay? This is gonna be very, very difficult to get away. So from here, I'm gonna grab, my elbow comes up, boom, and over, okay? So, He's here, he's got me, thumbs on bottom. I'm going to grab my wrist or my fist. My elbow comes up and over, and I'm going to, it's almost like I'm trying to break a board over here with my elbow. That's how, that's how explosive I want this elbow to be. So my elbow comes up, and then I go forward, boom. And then I'm gonna shuffle away. Be very careful not to turn your back. So I don't wanna do this, boom, and give the bad guy my back. So I wanna be very careful about that, okay? Uh, if he has two thumbs on top on both, let's say he grabs both. From here, I'm gonna start with the back, the leg that's behind, that arm is gonna go first, and then my other arm, and then I go away. So learn these different variations of the wrist releases. Finally, we're going to be looking at, so we have the standing up, the base get up, the wrist releases, now we're gonna look at the haymaker punch defense. So sometimes the bad guy, uh, he's out here and he's really wanting to get me and he rushes in and throws this big haymaker, boom! And if I don't do anything, he's gonna take me out. So here's what the haymaker punch looks like, the haymaker punch defense looks like. So here we go, he comes at me. All right, so we're here. As he comes at me, I put my hand on my forehead to cover. I duck down and I step towards the punch. Boom, as I go underneath, my other arm catches his stomach. I come around behind him and I grab his stomach.
From here, I want to have an S grip so that he can't pull my fingers away. If I'm here, he might reach down and peel my fingers up. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to use this S grip so he can't get my fingers. And I'm going to keep my head down so that he can't elbow me in the face. Boom. Keep this head down. I keep my hips away and I want to control, control, control. Boom, boom, boom. I also want to make sure that my arm, that this wrist is by this hip and my elbow is by the other hip so that I can control his hips because he's gonna to try to spin and get me in a headlock, okay? So if I don't have good control of the hips, he's gonna get that. So I want the hand on the far side and the S grip here. Super good control, boom. And then after a couple of seconds of control, I'm gonna push and get away. So I want you guys to practice these self-defense moves. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Good luck guys.